So it's um, Sunday night, it's about quarter to midnight and I'm supposed to go to bed. This is it and um, the wall, uh, I, can't, I can't touch the wall, it's a bit soft. There's people outside, there's nothing but and this bed is so narrow and I'm a little bit afraid the pillow is going to fall off and get dirty or the quilt will fall off and get dirty. Um, I feel like um, a couple of years ago I remember spending all night at, a, at an airport and I was awake most of the night but I did sleep kind of sitting up from time to time and I think actually this is worse than that so I don't know I've um, I'm so tired I'm falling asleep but in here I don't know I, I'm thinking right now that because I, I do it again tomorrow as well I think maybe even the day after that so what I might do is move the bed if I put it along this wall it doesn't take up a lot of room and I think I can sort of put it up and take it down and so on but I can't do it tonight I'm just too tired so um yeah look that's my that's my medication <laughs> um so wish me luck here we go oh dear i'm dreading this i wish i and i've moved i moved everything it didn't take long but i just shoved everything like some stuff out here i'll move it back in the morning but i just felt that i really wanted to sleep next door because um Otherwise, I'm pushed completely into this tiny room um, when there's a big house out here that I want to enjoy. And I don't mind it in a way. I've, I've slept in worse places, trust me. I've, I once slept, I slept in a park <laughs> on the bench. I've been, I used to do a lot of hiking. I've slept in all kinds of dirty places wet mattress, uh, all kinds of funny things when I was younger. So I've, I've done my fair share of sleeping on crap. It's been a month, I've been here a month now. And the last couple of weeks have been like this. And it's like the plaster. When you plaster a wall, it doesn't just um, stick to the wall. <laughs> it goes on the floor and it's in the air. When I breathe, I can taste it, you know? And I could smell it all the whole time. And I, I go outside. I'm not in here all the time, you know. But seriously, it's... Um, I suppose I'm feeling a bit sorry for myself as well. I'm missing my wife. I'm a bit sort of lonely tonight. Um, but I'm glad she's not here. <laughs> Two, we couldn't both fit in this room, could we? And the dog, of course. <laughs> Uh, I'll be alright in the morning, I know it, but um, there we go. Okay, see you in the morning. Again, um, so, here's what it's like. If I want to um, put clean socks on, then putting my feet on the floor in here, it's not so bad actually. In here, it, it's actually, actually pretty clean, believe it or not, but... Um, <laughs> It can be, in fact it was tonight, it was, you sort of, I got out a pair of slippers, put them on the floor, and I didn't put my feet, my feet didn't touch the floor, because what happens, like if I walk to the bathroom down there with socks on, my socks are covered in I don't know, all kinds of stuff by the time I get back. So anyway, I've decided to give myself a bit of luxury, hang on a minute. Carpet. <laughs> See you. Next morning, yes, I'm tired. Yes, I did sleep in the office, but um, well, I'm still alive. Uh, let me show you what I'm doing today. That, I'm gonna start cleaning today. I know it's gonna get dirty again, but I feel like if I clean it, maybe 
It's like if they arrive and paint to paint and it looks like this, they'll just carry on, they, they, they won't care. So maybe if it looks a bit better, maybe they'll be happier about cleaning, keeping paint off the floor. <laughs> oh, wish me luck. See you.